Hi everyone, I'm Pepri. This is my first time recording and uploading a video using my own voice. Uh, someone left a comment saying they'd prefer if I used my real voice instead of an AI generated one. And I thought that made sense. So here I am recording with my own voice. As I keep doing this, I also hope to improve my English speaking skills along the way. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the newly released uh, in Exchange Server Subscription Edition, also known as uh, SE. To start with, the RTM version isn't much uh, different from Exchange Server 2019. You could say it's basically a renamed version, not a full version upgrade. For more detailed information, you can check out the official post on the Microsoft Tech community. If you search Exchange Server Build Number on Google, you'll find a list of build numbers and release dates. You can also download the installation ISO file from there. I've already downloaded the ISO in advance. And today, I'll show you how to upgrade from Exchange Server 9 to, uh, 2019 to SE using an in-place upgrade. In the past, an upgrade meant building a new server, migrating everything, then retiring the old server. Now, it's an in-place upgrade. Just install it directly on your current server. I'm running this on Windows Server 2019 and my current Exchange Server 2019 build is CU15. Let's start the update from here. In this video, I'll keep things simple, no PowerShell commands or complicated steps. Uh, the reason I started blogging and making YouTube videos is that I found existing guides too difficult. So, I try to make it easier for beginners for following along. Now let's mount the ISO and begin the installation. Now let's mount the ISO and begin the installation. When you run it, you will clearly see Exchange Server Subscription Edition displayed. The UI and installation steps are pretty much the same as before. Just follow the setup wizard, click next, next. No need for any additional PowerShell configuration at this stage. Once the upgrade is done, you can see that the server has been updated to the new SE build. I also checked whether DAG remains intact in a high availability environment. 
So to sum it up, this SE release is more about renaming than a real version change. That wraps up today's walkthrough of the SE upgrade. Thank you for watching.